We know a lot of parents out there are ready to ship their kids off to the boot camp or an army overseas somewhere. Okay. <laughs> wow. And for Tough a group love. of Queensland parents, they're doing just that, sending the kids off to military camp to get them in line and out of trouble. Queenslanders. And today, reporter Ashton Grukellis went along to find out what it's all about. Uh, uh, right, uh, uh, this is a camp uh, of rules uh, and routine. Uh, adventure and challenges, oh and above all else, no excuses. Let's get up there, get with your section, get with your teammates. Let's do it. We've got a, a large team of very strong role models who, who don't take rubbish. All right, we start in... Three, two, one! It's a military course, organised and run by former serving soldiers. But these boys and girls are not training for the army. They're in need of a healthy dose of tough love. Go. Right, guys, good strength. Well done. Some of them are problematic to their parents, behavioural-wise. Um, others of them have come from difficult environments. It might have been a domestic violence or, or a school bullying situation, so they're really lacking in self-confidence or self-esteem. One of the main messages the kids are taught here is that it doesn't matter what's happened in the past or where they've come from, what counts is where they're going, the future. And this is like a fresh start. They're told they all can control what happens in their lives once they leave this camp. Talking to each other about our lives really makes me open up about mine, which I don't really do. So it's good to let it out. You can do it, Jaden. Right leg up. Right leg up. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Yeah. Many kids come here with the modern issue of a technology addiction. He's a child who would just spend his school holidays just on Xbox 24-7. I mean, I've tried everything else. I've tried behaviour management programs and um, social skills programs. I've also done parenting courses for myself and just thought I've got nothing to lose. You can still do it. Have another go. Have another go, Jaden. This is Jaden Irvine's second time here. His mum sent him back after remarkable results from his first camp experience. He keeps his room a lot cleaner. His, his um, meltdowns are less frequent at school and at home. But also, he's spending less time on the Xbox. Last time I went to the camp, I learned how to respect my family. But this time I'm going... When I go home, I'm going to respect them even more. Whoa, OK. Every day here, their confidence grows. It doesn't look that high from here, but when you get up, it is real, it's pretty high. Yeah. Um, yeah, you feel the nerves, and once you get it to the end, that's probably the best part. Yeah. How do you feel now that you've finished it? You did it. I feel quite proud and happy that I did it, yeah. The final test is the biggest. Parachuting from 17,000 feet above the ground. So so it's a matter of teaching them that, that fear is all in their head and that um, they can overcome it and they can actually jump and certainly when they land at the bottom, the look on their face is just priceless. When it's finally time to head home, it seems most kids take with them a promise. Stop giving my parents a hard time because we've got a really good life. I think... All of us, when we get home, we'll give all our family a big hug. Oh, what a great story. A beautiful young man. Yeah, isn't he? And the mm. camp is run by Veterans Helping Youth. The organisation plans to expand its program and run courses specifically for kids who've been expelled and suspended from school. We'll have all the details on our website. What a great initiative. It's a terrific initiative. Mm. I'd like to send my kids who are waking up with little Nanny and Yorkie's knob in cans this morning. Kids... That's what I'd like you to do. <laughs>